Most players can play well in training, but as soon as it comes to the big game, they start to crumble. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can eliminate your pregame nerves and play the way you know you can every time you step on the field. The reason you're getting nervous before practices, games, and tryouts is because you're up against a new challenge. Now what I want you to understand is that challenges are essential. If you're never challenged, you can never become better. So what you need to do is change your association to challenges. So instead of getting nervous in your mind and your body, instead of getting nervous every time you're challenged or in a new situation, you're out of your comfort zone, instead of getting nervous, I want you to get excited. Why? Because after that challenge or when you go through that challenge, you put yourself out of your comfort zone, you're going to become better. So would you be nervous about becoming better or would you be excited about becoming better? So every time you're up against a big challenge, a new opportunity, a new level for you to play on, new players for you to play against, don't get nervous. Get excited. Why? Because that's going to get you out of your comfort zone. It's going to force you to become a better player. It's going to challenge you to take your game to a new level. And that's what you want, right? You want to become a better player. If you didn't, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. So do yourself a favor. Every time you feel nervous, realize that you're up against a new challenge and instead you should feel excited because that challenge is going to make you a better player. If you are getting nervous before games, not only are you going to play poorly, but you're actually wasting your time. Okay, all that time you spent training, all that time you spent preparing yourself mentally, physically, tactically, it's all being wasted because you're looking at this opportunity in the wrong way. Okay, so don't waste your time. Don't waste your potential. Throw those nerves out the window. This, those butterflies in your stomach, they aren't actually nerves. It's excitement because you're going to get closer to your goals. You're going to get closer to the player that you want to become. You need to learn to love that feeling. Learn to love new challenges. Learn to love situations that make you feel uncomfortable. And I know this is a weird concept, but if you can learn to love those situations, you run towards new challenges rather than shying away from them. You are on the path to success. Believe me, this is such a powerful concept right here. Instead of being afraid of new challenges, getting nervous when you have a big game, get excited. Run towards that game. You hope that game came even quicker. You hope your tryout came even quicker. Because you know that challenge is going to make you a better player. It's going to get you out of your comfort zone and force you to do more, to be more, to take it to a higher level. If you want to really eliminate pregame nerves, you need to do a couple things. Now first, it starts with what we were talking about in your head. So anytime you hear that little voice of self-doubt saying you're not good enough, you're not going to be able to do it, it's going to be too hard, you need to crush that voice. You need to reframe that negative self-talk with positive self-talk. Tell yourself you can, you will find a way to do it. Tell yourself you can't, you will find a way to do that too. Okay, but anytime that voice pops in your head saying you're not good enough, say yes, I am good enough, I believe in myself, I'm working hard enough. And if you're not, you better start. So that goes on to my next point, preparation. You have a game on Sunday, but what have you done leading up to that game? Okay, make sure you're doing something every day to make yourself a better player. Now, technical, physical preparation is one thing, but you also want to focus on your nutrition and your hydration. So you need to be eating well, you need to be drinking well throughout the week leading up to your game, not just the day before. Now, the night of your game, you want to get a good night's sleep. Obviously, you want to have a good night's sleep throughout the week, but definitely, definitely on the night of your game. Okay, when you're laying in your bed, you're thinking about the game the next day, Keep it positive. Think about all the great things that you're going to do on the field. All the ways that you're going to play properly. Now, on the day of your game, I want you to get up. And I want you to get out of bed. I want you to go for that morning ritual. Do your thing, okay? Go for a light jog, some dynamic stretches, kick the ball around a bit, some light juggling. That's all going to help you release the tension in your legs. Okay, you don't want to go hard. You don't want to exert yourself. But you want to get up and you want to get moving. Now, you want to have good pregame meals throughout the day, okay, not just your meal before the game. You want to have good meals leading up to the game about every three hours. 
drink tons of water, make sure you're hydrated. Now, when you get to the game, I want you to get there early. Okay, to eliminate these pregame nerves, you have to prepare properly. So, get a good warm up. Okay, keep talking to yourself positively. Remind yourself of all the good things you're going to do on the field. When you're feeling nervous, breathe. Okay, take deep breaths. Release the tension. Tell yourself it's going to be okay. Tell yourself you're good enough. Tell yourself you can do this. And remind yourself to work hard, to play smart, to play quick. Okay, when you're in the game, focus on those good things. Remember, if the ball's coming to you, you're focusing on having a bad touch, or you're thinking about getting tackled, you will. Instead, focus on the positive. Focus on watching that ball to your foot, having a nice positive touch in the first into space, and then playing quickly. Okay, when you're taking a shot, visualize yourself hitting the ball cleanly and putting it in the back of the net. Don't think about putting it over or missing the net because you will. Okay? So if you want to eliminate those pregame nerves, that's up to you. The last thing I want you to think about when you step on that field is enjoying this game. Okay? This is the game that you love to play. And when you're your happiest, you're enjoying the moment, you're not putting any pressure on yourself, that's when you play your best. So remember, this is the game that you love to play. Even though it's a hard game, you're going to work really hard, you're going to play with high intensity, you're still playing the game that you love. So enjoy every second of it. When you can take the pressure off yourself, that's when you're going to eliminate those pregame nerves. Okay, but be confident. Talk to yourself positively. Remind yourself to do the right things. Prepare for that game leading up to the week. If you're not confident about a certain area of your game, you need to do something about it so you're ready when game day comes along. Enjoy that game. Okay, this is the game that you love. There's no reason to feel nervous. But the biggest concept I want you to take from this video is changing your association with new challenges. So when you have a big trial coming up, when you have a big game coming up, you're playing with some new players that you don't know, okay, remind yourself, this is a new challenge. I want this challenge because it's going to make me better. It's going to force me to become the player that I want to be.